Welcome everybody to this presentation with uh, Neo Dynamics. Uh, they just released their Q3 report this morning. And uh, with me, I have Anna Eriksrud, the CEO of the company. First of all, I would like to, to comment on a pra some practical issues. If you want to post a question to Anna during the presentation, please post it down on your right in the chat and I will forward the question to Anna and we will try to answer as good as possible. Welcome everybody and I hand over the word to Anna. Anna, please. Thank you, Klaus. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all here uh, and we will today, as mentioned, uh, address the Q3 report, but I will also present for uh, people that don't know Neodynamics a little bit about our plans and also I will share for the first time a testimonial from a customer that we have just received on video. So um, just to start first to remind ourselves the imaging today is actually has improved considerably and we have uh, today an imaging technique that reveals small small lesions and uh, if you want to take a biopsy you need really precision and today's needles don't give that. Um, and uh, it is here where we have Neonavia. Neonavia can offer them the precision biopsy system, which means that you change the whole situation for the breast cancer patient. You have a chance to get a treatment very early on and you can save lives. So uh, Neodynamics in brief, first of all, um, to underline again, we have a novel biopsy technology, which gives higher precision, also enables you to take larger samples, adequate samples, and you can go into remote places that are considered today as very difficult to reach with a biopsy instrument. It is user friendly. So we see a growing biopsy market, uh, not only because cancer is detected earlier, but we have improved imaging technique, as mentioned in the start, and the treatment today with fantastic precision medicine, also called individualized treatment, is actually requiring biopsies to be taken in between treatment periods. So our business model as such is to prove commercial viability in selected markets. I will go into that where we are today and then find a partner that will then take Neonavia to volumes. Yeah. So our task is very much to create reference centers and that's why it is so interesting to listen to the first customers that use Neonavia today. And then to develop and use the technology in other platforms, uh, in other applications. So we start with breast cancer and we have a possibility to go into other uh, applications of a needle, uh, which also needs precision. So um, here we have um, the map and you can rec you recognize the three countries which we have focused on. Uh, we are focusing on the work with peer-to-peer -peer based strategy. And um, the reason is simply that we can have a tremendous leverage if we have the key opinion leaders to say the right things about our product. Uh, it is uh, for us as a small company, not a, a difference to the larger uh, companies in this strategy. We can be as good or even better in our context with key opinion leaders. And I will come back to that with an example from just recently presented data at, uh, in London um, related to our Pulse um, study. So the studies are very important and we have the studies ongoing now in countries uh, where we work. We have selected senior sales team uh, members that will um, take the product out, have uh, launched products uh, several times in their career and knows what is critical and what is not. Uh, and um, we aim at a commercial proof of concept then in these targets. Uh, target markets. Anna, there's some uh, buzzing on your uh, on your side uh, on the microphone. Um, I start the video now. Um, maybe you look into the noise and we come back.
Um, can I ask you, once you've obviously been using this for some time now, what do you think the impact's going to be on surgical management within the axilla? Um, yeah, so I think <clears throat> um, we are really intensively discussing um, what to do with the axilla. So what is the axilla intervention? Is this just a staging procedure? Is this a therapeutic procedure? Uh, in my opinion, it's a staging procedure and um, we are going um, yeah, more and more and down in, in, in terms of a de-escalation de of axilla intervention. That means um, we have to know uh, from the very first beginning, do I have a positive lymph node or not regarding uh, radiation, regarding indication of uh, chemotherapy and by the use of multi-gene assays and dynamic ES67. I mean, this um, gives us the opportunity to uh, figure out um, what exactly the lymph node um, um, is, so what is the dignity of the lymph node. And for that reason, I think I need a device that um, is um, handle, so, so it's, it's, it's nice to handle, it's devil to handle, um, to, to follow on the lymph node, because you know lymph nodes are really slippery sometimes, and uh, with this pulse system, you really can, uh, as I say, you can really hunt the lymph node, you can follow the lymph node and um, get more than just a half of the core, you get a whole core of uh, 20 millimeter, and this is um, enough tissue uh, for, for all the examinations you want to do with this. And do you think the needle visualization is better with this for sort of deep lymph nodes in particular? Well, the needle vis visualization is great, um, but the most important benefit is this pulse, is, are the, the pulsed needle, um, because you cannot fix the lymph node. So in the breast, I think you can fix the breast, you can fix um, the lymph node, you can fix it with your ultrasound probe, but in the axilla, it's nearly impossible. And then you have this challenge, and this was the reason why we did um, these, these um, why we did this design, this risk parameters, so less than five millimeter next to the vessel, next to the nerve, next to the muscle, um, to, to get an idea, um, where is the benefit? So where I'm struggling, um, and uh, where can I, what is struggling via this pulse system? Okay, and just a quick one, what size of lymph node cortex were you biopsying? Uh, five millimeter and less okay. and, and bigger, of course, yes. Yeah, okay. So do you hear me now? Yeah, now it's much better, Diana. Um, Good, very, sorry. Very, no. very interesting video. Um, and back to you, Anna, there's a couple of questions coming up here. Do you want me to uh, post them now or do you want me to take them afterwards? I think we, I will be very quick on, on the following slide because this has been a very important sharing with you. Uh, we talk about peer-to-peer -peer, um, selling and we talk about workshops where we actually present the uh, uh, how the product works and you see here pictures from meetings this of course has been very difficult during the pandemic um, because we have not been able to reach our customers as is normally uh, the case uh, and we have now in the autumn finally got back to normal as also written in the in the report um, with a peer person like uh, Professor Thiel, who presented the data in London, he is pointing with a whole finger on the pulse technology. He is convinced uh, with his hospital that this is the way uh, forward uh, for future biopsy use. Uh, and these centers we call reference centers. And of course, if you think of competitors here, if we are into these key centers, our competitors will, of course, be notified. So it will be a very interesting uh, coming uh, year where we are more and more into these hospitals um, creating our references. And so far, we have had very positive feedback. Uh, so in short, yes, you have seen maybe the quarterly report. We have a very low market cap but I would say that the, the small sales is very important from a symbolic uh, standpoint because we have just started now and we have been able to invoice. Uh, and this is just uh, the beginning. But we talk about reference centers. We are not talking about volumes the first year, also to be remembered. Um, um, I think uh, you are interested to know about the time schedule. We are working now in Europe. We are delayed, but I would like to say that we are busy now catching up. 
uh, and we are out with pilot studies and with that we mean uh, evaluations in the clinics of like two three months where they pay for the needles but it's not until they are firm customers that they need to pay also for the base unit we are preparing the file um, I have in the CO comment um, in our quarterly report just mentioned that it is very much an ongoing dialogue with FDA and it is thanks to that that we should be prepared to present a file when they are ready to receive it. We want to avoid as much as possible back and forth with FDA once the file is submitted and I think that is in our perspective, the most important way to gain time and to be out as quickly as possible in the US. Um, we are then also starting the, um, the regulatory process in China um, by next year. So, and that is a longer process and we can spend time on that at another um, meeting, but just to mention. So finally, I think again, to remember, we are aligned with the trends in cancer care. You have just uh, listened in to one uh, testimonial from um, a very, uh, so say, a high top user uh, in uh, Frankfurt. And we are documenting our product with the first initial uh, results uh, of the PULSE, the German PULSE study here presented at PSBR. And the introduction is on its way now. And I think most of you know that launch is not a single event. It is during a long period, like a year that you launch. So we will go into 2022 with confidence and a lot of work. So thank you. So thank you. I'm prepared to with the questions. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anna. Really nice, really good. Good with the video as well. But uh, there's, a, there's a couple of questions here I would like to post, but just before I post them, I think it's very important as well. Um, new dynamics, we talk about a product that is actually physical. And it's very important in this post-COVID era that the company is able to actually meet the users of mm -hmm. the product. But first of all, there's a, there's a question here from the audience. Um, uh, how well financed are you for the foreseeable future? You took in some money and what and what and for how long do they fund the company? Maybe you can come in a little on that. Yeah, in, in our perspective, we are fine this year. Absolutely so. And we have also prepared by announcing that we will take in more money during next year. Yeah. Uh, but it's not uh, an acute situation at all. And uh, um, we are, uh, so to say, and we will include, we have also said, we are positive to include our present shareholders. So um, we are looking forward to that. That will be a natural part of, um, of next year. And um, next year will be um, the time when we enter the US market. Uh, and of of course, we need money for that. Uh, on the other hand, I would say for those that are worrying about the US, I would say that we can create reference centers with a decent, so say, investment. Um, I have worked in the US and we have on our team US based people. And we know that with a few but very skilled persons, we can really create the first momentum when we look for a partner, because of course the partner will also want to see how it works. So uh, it's, it's a dual. So to be in the US is the first step, just to be yes. present there. Mm. Good, good Anna. Uh, maybe turn your head a little to the, to the other yeah, camera. I see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see you. That's much better, much better now. Yes, then there's a question here uh, coming from Jens uh, about your pipeline. You, you you touch upon it, but you, you mentioned in the report that you received some really nice orders from high-profile clinics. How, how do the, the pipeline look otherwise? Uh, other, other European countries? Uh, maybe you can mention a little on that. Mm. I think it is important to understand the the business model we have because uh, we are not going to spread thin rather to focus and focus on a few centers that are then using our product all through 
that is the important part because with that we have the strongest message to a possible partner and a good negotiation there so what what they need is references in in order to be able to calculate um as as a possible partner how a, a new product would look like in their portfolio Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think the pipeline, uh, the order pipeline is clearly so that we we are just moving from one university center to the other simply because these, if I may say so, uh, these um, key opinion leaders, they know each other very well. So if mm -hmm. one have started, they are very eager to follow lead. And it's the same in UK and uh, it will be the same in the US as well. Good. Thanks a lot. Uh, well, then I would like to ask you, Anna, a little about your patents. Um, maybe you could elaborate a little on that. How many patents have you? What is necessary? And, and so on. Most important is to conclude that we have a patent uh, on our Pulse uh, technology. And that is, um, is, pres that is then uh, valid in both the, the key markets in, in Europe, so say the largest market in Europe, US, as well as China. And then we have a patent um, covering our uh, different needles and uh, specifically then the needle in which we have developed ourselves, the FlexiPulse needle. So I think we have four different um, patent families and more will come. So it will be interesting, but I think so far we are, we are covered uh, in a good way. Mm. Good, thank you. Um, can you mention, there's a question here coming in, a little about the, the, the world market. Uh, well, I could imagine it's huge, but I think it's important, as you mentioned for me, that your product, you have to see in relation to other products like radiotherapy um, uh, and other, other stuff. But, but could, could you say something about the world market for, for Neonavia? Um, if we refer to present uh, um, needles, then we talk about uh, a size of 500 million US dollar. But we are then touching on health economic aspects. It is a premium uh, product and premium priced. And we can also argue that you take, you can get larger samples, as you remember. That means you you don't need to to use the needle so many times into the patient. And that means uh, you gain time and you have health economic aspects there. Mm. Also, Professor Till mentioned surgically, you are today sending the patient for surgical removal to, to take a biopsy in, in the armpit because it's so difficult place. But if you can take a biopsy, that would be very interesting instead. So, so all of that is changing, of course, but 500 million US dollars today, market size. Good. Good. Well, I would like to ask the audience if they have any more questions, please post them. There's no questions from the audience. Then in the end, I would like to, to ask you, you, you mentioned in your report that you actually open up an affiliate in Germany in this market where, where you where you have very good traction already uh, um, and you, you you touch upon us uh, are you going to serve europe besides sweden of course serve europe from your office in germany or do you have other plans for france uh, the netherlands and so on i think again that other countries i'm we are very much planning to have a partner to take care of um the volume so to say sales but uh, it is important then to comply with everything from VAT to other uh, things that you need to do, taxes, etc. And we have then opened a German uh, company and I, I predict that it will be the same for US. So in order to comply with all the rules, etc., it's good to have, um, so to say, that sorted out. Mm. And Germany is for us a very important market as well. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Mm. Well, Thanks a lot, Anna. Really nice presentation. And um, we really look forward to, to host you uh, soon, I hope. And thanks to the audience. Thanks for the questions. And uh, have a very nice day.